Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel and if you like beauty videos, 31 days of Halloween and Friday vlogs, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of my makeup family. With all that being said, I'll let you jump right into this video. So hello my loves. Today I'm excited to do this video because maybe, just maybe, did I find a face powder that is comparable to the La Mer, the Sheer Press Powder, which I absolutely love. I'm so obsessed with that powder, but it does come with a very hefty price tag. Now, just to let you guys know that I do have dry skin, a lot of dry skin here on my forehead and a little bit around my cheek area, and that's it, but my forehead is extremely bad. So I automatically know if a powder is going to work with me the minute I put it on my skin. For example, if I put a powder on my face, and my dry skin starts to appear and my skin starts to become really flaky, then I know that's not the powder for me. So one day I just took the leap and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take the plunge. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the La Mer Sheer Press Powder in Translucent. Did a whole full video on that. I will leave the link right here for you guys to check that out. And I fell in love with it. I really didn't want to because it's so, so pricey. It is over $100 Canadian. So I was like, okay, let's see if we could find something that is comparable to that powder, but less the cost. So all I have on my face today is my foundation, concealer, my contour, blush, eyeshadow, lipstick, and all that will be listed down below. So I have no powders on my face. So what I like to do is I go in and I buff all around the outer perimeter on my face and then my nose. I really don't like to put powder underneath my eye area just for the simple fact because I have fine lines and wrinkles and I always say that in a lot of videos because I am 37. I'm not getting any younger so I really don't want to emphasize those lines. So today what one is going to go up against the Lumiere powder? You already seen the title. It is the ColourPop the No Filter Shared Press Powder versus the La Mer, the Shared Press Powder. So this one here is in the shade Fair. This one here is in Translucent. I will have to say right off the bat, I love the cases. Of course, the La Mer one feels a little bit more luxurious, a bit more heavy duty, but at the same time, the ColourPop case is really nice as well. And of course, they both come with great size mirrors, which is great for traveling. So considering that I've had the La Mer one for such a long time, that all the information's after wearing off on it, I will pop up to tell you how much is in this product and the price. And the same goes for the ColourPop one because I don't have the price here in front of me, but the ColourPop powder does have a total net weight of 5.50 grams, which is 0.19 ounces. So on this side here, I'm going to be placing the La Mer Sheer Press Powder in Translucent. That's the only difference is that one is fair and one is translucent. I am going to be going in with totally two different brushes. This one here is my Sephora and this is the Pro Featherweight Powder Brush and this is the number 91 brush. Love this brush. So I am going to go ahead and just swirl my brush around in it. And I'm just going to buff the outer perimeter of my face. There we go, there is the La Mer side. And as you could tell, it just makes my skin look super soft and finished. And it just really buffs the product into your skin, like your blush and contour. So it just makes everything look so nice and even into your skin. And it looks like it's just melting into your skin. That's how I would always describe this powder, that it just melts into the skin. But as you could tell, it looks really nice and soft and smooth and finished compared to this side. Now for the ColourPop, the No Filter Sheer Press Powder. I love this name. And I am going to be going in with my Beach Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray number one brush. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead in with this brush. And I'm just going to buff this right into my skin like I did with the Lemire side. So here we go, here is the ColourPop, the No Filter Sheer Press Powder. And I will have to say that 
even though the Le Mer Sheer Press Powder is in translucent and the ColourPop powder is in fair, there's really no difference in my skin, as you could tell. It just blends so beautiful into the skin. Now, what will I have to say? Which one is the best? Looking here now in my viewfinder and looking in my mirror and just looking at my skin, like my skin did not flake at all with both of these powders. So that's great because I do have dry skin, so there is no flakiness. It definitely makes my foundation look gorgeous and beautiful and flawless. And it definitely gives that beautiful finished look. Like it's making my blush and my contour look like it's melting into my skin. It's giving that final touch that it really needs. So which side do I think is better? I have been using this every single day since I bought it. I've only recently got this a while back, didn't open it, did a video on like Instagram picks my makeup, my Instagram followers picks my makeup. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the link. It's an awesome video. It was so much fun to do. Um, but since then, since I filmed that video, I've been using this one as well, just to see how long it wears during the day on my skin, if it breaks up my makeup or anything like that. And it doesn't. It wears beautifully. <laughs> this is really hard because I will have to say that the ColourPop side looks so much smoother than the Le Mer side. Whoa, I know, that's a big thing. Um, I just love how beautiful and how flawless and how finished this side of my skin looks. I mean, this side here looks beautiful and flawless as well, but I don't know. There's something about this side that just looks a little bit more finished. So Le Mer Sheer Press Powder versus the ColourPop the No Filter Powder. I'll have to give it to ColourPop. I know that is saying something, but I just love how this side is looking. Just a little bit more than this side. So you guys, if you've been wanting to try the Le Mer, the Sheer Press Powder in Translucent, and you've been wanting it for such a long time, but it comes with such a hefty price tag, then go ahead, order the ColourPop, the No Filter Sheer Press Powder because it is beautiful. So amazing, such great quality, just all around beautiful powder. And if you have dry skin like me, these powders are going to work for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these powders or what is your favorite pressed powder to set your foundation. Let me know in those comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.